Okay, we've got these like cloaked figures around here. Well, these cloaked statues. Which kind of look like air. Like evolved versions of those worms, but they kind of remind you about the air. Uh, like the enemies in a uh, whole Jarnum. Horn just singing, go for madness. They do attack, they're just very slow. Um, let's get some nice uh, blood echoes from that. Got Great Lake. That's what Great Lake does. All damage reduction plus four percent. This is a nice one. This transcription of the great ones in human voice ripples like a warrior reflection. The rune means like, and those who memorize it enjoy general reduced damage. Great volumes of water serve it, and the rest is the same. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of like they're all pointing in this direction towards the bridge, maybe, or what's. Or the tower. Hmm. <laughs> that was having a little fit. By them taking damage. Oh, they apply frenzy. Oh, okay. Some friends are cobbled. Uh oh. into this bit. We've got one of these guys. Oh well the choir gap. So, so those enemies are the same ones that we found in the uh, the side passage um underneath the workshop. Sounds disgusting. Um, so yeah, they're uh, they can uh, stun us and suck out uh, some insight. This is the worst part. Get ready. What does that mean? So I'm still getting uh, shards from them. Oh, we can't get that guy. Uh, I think there is uh, some way to 
kind of attack this guy. Maybe if we got a bigger weapon or something. Take him out through the door. That's fine. We'll come around and tear that guy out. So, yeah, so I absolutely hate those guys because if if they know where you are, they fire those orbs, they stun you in place. It's not good. Um, okay, so we're in the churchy bit. Probably see like there's two wolves up there. Can we go through this bit? Door does not open from that side. That's a bit dark in here. Let's get the torch out. Okay, so we've got three of these dogs. Um, kind of like you can just run through this door and they can't come. They won't be able to come out. They can kind of there. Uh, some jumping attacks. But you are at risk as well from getting hit. So, you should be careful with that. Um, do we have any Molotovs? Maybe we can finish them off with those. I don't think I've got any. Shit. just annoying because now they're all there blocking the doorway we can get one of them out of the way though Good enough. See where the sub one is. Only two of them come up. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, like, I've always. Oh, Jesus. That made me jump then. <laughs> I've always got, like, three of them at once to take out. Actually, there's another one down there. Shards. I'm just making sure I'm like full HP for every step of this because I don't want to die to them squelchy motherfuckers. These guys. He's ready. He's about to take me. Can we go around this side? Then that happens. Okay, we should be able to finish them off if we can uh, engage with those attacks. But yeah, at risk of failure from that point. Cosmic Eye at Watcher Badge. Oh, what do we get from that one? I don't even. I don't even know. I'm not even on the right path. Where are you? I thought it'd be like uh, key items. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, badge of a member of the choir, elites of the healing church. The eye signifies the very cosmos. The choir stumble upon an epif... 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 Yeah, it is epiphany. The choir stumble upon an epiphany very suddenly and quiet by accident. 
Here we stand, feet planted in the earth. But might the cosmos be very near us? Only just above our heads. Is there one over here? No, I think they're both upstairs. I think we're safe. Good rituals, door is locked. Oh god, it's just all these slurping noises. So nerve wracking, but so good. Got another all the Zia. Like this one is the worst. So it's just here. <clears throat> Game is kind of run up to it. Which I think this puts this Gary in aggro range. Whoa, there he is. No. That grab is so quick. What the fuck? It's over. I can't do nothing. That's all I was there. Uh, hoping it wasn't going to happen. Oh, literally, I could not do anything. He fucked it up straight away. <clears throat> Just run away. Try and heal. all that time. Still got like two more of those to go though. Let's not get excited just yet. Um oh fuck we've got three more of these guys to go. Uh, at least this one's only, we've only got like one way. Right, just get back out of there. I don't want him to stun me again. Save a little bit of dodginess for the tail whip. It's going for it again. What the fuck? So yeah, I haven't got any way to deal with those. Got any easy way to deal with those guys? Just kind of dodge to the side, and hopefully you don't get hit. Lapel slug. Nice. Another spell. What does this one do? Um, a pearl slug. Bahio. Okay, so this is just a uh, chalice dungeon material. No need to go further into that. And now we've got this part. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh my 
my god. I was just about to dodge out of that. Alright, I'm always going to retreat from these because if it gets me again, then it's game over. Whereas if I'm stuck in the door. Fuck. Have we got enough to survive this? It might be okay. Ah, uh, Joe, actually, let's, uh, let's go over this way if we can make it. That guy's trying. Let's open the door. Oh. Fuck. Where we get greeted by the wolf. So not prepared for this. Um. But yeah, they're just eating away inside away. They lost that grow. But the only thing is, it's on stairs. Okay. I've got the orphanage key. Best way to deal with those guys is just try and get backstabs on them. this guy kind of waving his arms about talk make oh, okay so this is where we're gonna make contact gesture which comes in handy a bit later on so yeah it's a good idea to come here before we go into the to the Mensis nightmare to so get get contact all there is in this room just the uh just that uh so we're gonna head back down and we got the key the orphanage key did we fight that um The werewolf down here, I must have done. And we can open the giant door. Joker. I'm like I'm I'm always expecting like some of these guys to just come alive and start grabbing us. But they don't, so we're okay. Is there any like secret doors? <clears throat> of course not. Any uh hidden walls would have been found by now. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. is effective um okay so we're in the uh, orphanage I oh, we started the boss fight uh so yeah this one let's just give you loads of those uh, little emissaries and if there's any items, but you can, I mean, like, these little ones aren't too bad. When they're, uh, on their own.
That's when we get the big one. Oh, fuck. Cast okay, heal up. Man, that guy's got large fingers. <laughs> He's got a big reach. She needs to get the slow attack, so. But it's just dodging. Fuck. The worst part is if we leave it. Fuck. Get out of the way of that. Don't let them go pop on you because they will do a lot of damage. Um, Locking on is probably not the best thing to do either for this fight. Fuck. Like, that's the little boy who's doing damage. Uh, and now we're in old shit mode. Now he's got spells. <clears throat> but yeah, like bothering with these guys isn't going to do you too much good because they're just going to keep coming back. So you just want to get in, hit the boss. Kind of like kite them around pillars and stuff. That was a bad example, but we got it done. And uh, we've got communion. I don't think there's anything else around here. No more items in there. Uh, what do we get with communion? Uh, okay, so we got a a greater communion. I think it might have been this one. Max vials held up. It's four. And then we got the lamp. 